Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP, Steven Sykes of Live and Global Media. And I'm here with uh, Dominic Lunds here in Motion Magazine press party and magazine release and so much more here in Silver Springs, Maryland. And I have the honorable, iconic Mr. Well, Mr. Reggie Wells, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Doing? I'm doing all right, sir. First of all, thank you so very much for coming and thank you for all oh. that you offer uh, to us in the industry for so many years. Well, thank you for that. Now, one of the, we sat here and got a chance to speak out today. One of the things you mentioned about is not having any regret. Can you expand about that a little bit? I, I think that life is made for you to explore, create, and design anything you want to be. So anything that you fall upon or trip, or even if you have a, a missed decision, don't regret that because all, every one of those things are done for a reason. And if you take something away with that, so regrets won't even act like that. They won't treat you wrong. They will treat you good because you know now the next move is to think more positive and work on what that is. What was the biggest mistake that you made and what did you do to try to recover and learn from that, sir? Well, my, the biggest mistake I made was before I had my actual dream come true, I decided I wanted to be a teacher. I don't call it a mistake. I call it not being ready for the industry that wasn't ready for me. At that time, I wanted to be a fashion designer, and that's back in 1965. And I said to me, and my white counselor told me there are no black fashion designers. I'll never forget it. And then I got to thinking. There was a few back then. No, not in 68. No, not in America. Not in America. <laughs> not in 1968. And if you had a black designer, he wasn't recognized because he was overseas. He was probably in Paris or London or Rome somewhere. So I took that as I bet not go into fashion right now. So I did the thing I wanted to do. It's to teach school. And I'm glad it happened because then it made a great discipline for me. I was able to take all the bad news very well and I could move on from there. So I think that helped me get into what I'm doing today. With all, what are some of the things we see a lot of changes in the industry and there's always going to be changes. But what are some things that you would caution that we need to be careful before we move forward with that change or we need to look differently? It's information. It's going to always be information and who's talking to you. I feel always I hear disappointment with people. So I met this man or I met this guy or I met this lady who said uh, she could help me or he could help me or he would give me the directions or she would give me the directions. What, the, what they need to know is that Anybody with false information, or you think it's false in me, really go into investigation with the person because we get so much misinformation and people use people to get paid, just to get paid. So you have to be careful, especially in places like New York and, and California. You have to be very weary about who you're speaking with. There's so many people, so many people trying and so many people are messing up because they're so desperate for it to get exactly. on their feet that they're not intending to do wrong, but they're doing wrong. And then there are also the predators out there that you, that want to do wrong and looking to get over people. Right, so you have to be very careful about what direction you want to go in. We're going to come over here a little bit. Okay. So now, you mentioned something a little bit earlier about politically and things. With all the changes that's happened out there in social justice in the world, and you being a man that has traveled so many places and seen uh, black diaspora in all countries around the world, could, could you extrapolate a little bit about that? I'm sorry. Three minutes away. Okay. No, but I'll wrap it up, sir. I do apologize. Okay. Who you so, for me? For me? Yeah, for you, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, we're going to let you go on that one. But, okay. sir, but how can people follow you and keep track, sir? On Instagram, I am Reggie Wells, or Facebook, which is just plain Reggie Wells. And I'll tell you what and keep up with what the work is. Sir, it's an honor and pleasure, honor, and I look forward sir. to meeting with you and speaking you. with you again. Sorry Thank our you. time is short, sir, but you know how it is. People with money got to go. Okay. <laughs>